Let's take a look at some of the creative uses of the Arranger track in Cubase. Cubase is the first program to give you this overview of the project so we can see exactly when our tracks come in and when they go out and all of our tracks laid out graphically on our project window. Uh, and this is a very linear mode where I could see my beginning, my middle, and my end, and I could freely cut copy parts. Um, now, so we have a linear mode, but some people prefer to work in patterns, and this is where the arranger track comes in. So the arranger track can be added into the project just by simply right clicking and choosing add arranger track. You have up to one arranger track per project, it'll be global for the project. And we need to make sure that the arranger track controls are activated in the transport. Once again, right click and enable the arranger track functions here. And we can see that they've now been added. Now the arranger track parts can be added by grabbing my drawing tool and I could select sections in time. So if I wanted to have this as a selection, I could just simply add that right there. And if I wanted to give it a name, I could just alter option. Click here and we'll type in guitar solo. And I could add other comp other tracks here. So we'll add another part of our arranger track. So I will come right here and let's just say this will be our bridge. And maybe I want it to have a nested part, a part within a part, within a part, within a part, etc. Now I can see all these listed in my inspector. So my top section will be my actual arranger chain or pattern of events. And my bottom will, rep will show all of my available selections or parts. Now if I click on my edit button here, I could just simply now, if I wanted to create chains, I could have up to 16 chains and I could just drag and drop and make a new arranger order just like this. So if I wanted to have one arrangement for a 60 second commercial or a 30 second commercial for a different arrangement or a 15 second commercial. Now when I come here, I'm gonna activate that my project playback in using the arranger track. So when I play, we'll see the intro, and have it just jump. Instead of going on forward in the song linearly. So you can see that could be one arrangement so one chain so if i wanted to play back a different order i could just simply come here now let's say i wanted to have my play order and i wanted to turn my non-linear arrangement directly into a linear arrangement i can come right over here and choose flatten chain and that would take that chain and copy all the parts of it out into a linear project window so if you want to work in a linear manner for doing arranging or a non-linear pattern based, you can use the arranger track to have great flexibility.